Guys, I've got just a few things that I want to say. Um, I'm not going to say this is a bitch fest, but it's more of a, a question. Everybody, and, and there seems to be popping up more and more monsters every day that are doing stuff to children and young adults and even adults. And we can't figure out what is going on. Everybody, like, the, the world's going to pot. The world's coming to an end. That kind of stuff. But you have to start questioning also what's going on with the police, law enforcement. And I'm just going to name off a few of these cases. And I may have the actual details not exactly correct, okay? Because I'm just going by memory. Because I'm just wondering. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. But I believe there's um, six cases that I'm going to talk about. First of all, Summer Wells. What is going on with the Summer Wells case and local law enforcement? I mean, we all know that we, what we believe in the Summer, law, or Summer Wells case. We believe that law enforcement, or at least part of them, I'm not going to say all of them, part of them are corrupt. We believe that they are not even doing the job that they're supposed to be doing when it comes to the Summer Wells case and trying to find her. We know very well that we're not being given any updates. Nobody's keep being keep kept apprised of what's going on in that case whatsoever. Okay. Let's move on to the Callie Rodney case. We all know how we feel about that case and what happened in that case. And, and the rumors or allegations that the, the sheriff was the coroner and, you know, this and that. And then the fact that it took the law enforcement, they searched with all, whoever was involved in the search, searched for two weeks. They searched Prosser Lake. Nothing. They found absolutely nothing until AWP came in and was in that water for, what, 30 minutes? And they found the car and found Kylie Rodney. I mean, what is up with that? Um, we have... Uh, the Caitlin Ledbetter out of, um, let me see, Caitlin Ledbetter was out of Hillman, Tennessee, over in Overton County. She went missing, guys, May 4th, I believe it was, of 2021. It was just like a month before Summer went missing. It is alleged, guys, that it took that sheriff's department nine months before they did the very first search for that 26-year-old, 20, uh, 23-year-old. What is up with that? Why would it take them nine months to do the first search when this girl was supposedly saw running off into the woods? We have uh, Holly Bobo's case. Come on, it had the local law enforcement, TBI, FBI, um, U.S. Marshal Service, uh, they supposedly even had a SWAT team up there. Two, two hours, guys. Two hours before the first person went into the woods and started searching for that girl. And her brother saw the direction that the man took her in. And it still took them two hours before they started searching. And it still took, what, three years to get any kind of evidence to be able to arrest anybody in it. Um, the Cody Bigsby case. Law enforcement really screwed up on that one. Yes, they arrested him. We still don't know if he did something with the baby. People suspect that he did. 
but they arrested that man. And from what I remember and what I understand, he asked to speak to a lawyer when he was being questioned. He asked for a lawyer to be brought in to help him. Guess what? Didn't happen. Oops, law enforcement messed up again. We have, what, the Idaho Four. <laughs> the Idaho Four. Wait a minute, let's jump back. We have the Murdoch case down in South Carolina, guys. Murdoch. Um, the first incident that was involved in that, because all these, as far as I know, is still ongoing, trying to figure out what it, what he had in it and what he didn't. But j we're talking just like the ME, the coroner's law enforcement, okay? When that guy, that boy, was found on the road, I don't know if you all know who I'm talking about or not, but they they eventually came to the conclusion that he had been pew-pewed, I believe, in the back of the head. But when the ME first examined that boy, it was reported that his cause of death was because he had been ran over. Or a baseball bat. How can you get that from a pew pew? Something's not right there, guys. Come on. Let's go back to the Idaho Four. Got a big question for you there. Okay. Now, granted, I'm not a coroner. I'm not, I don't have any kind of degrees in medical or anything like that. But we do know that when something happens and someone is unalive, that normally the first thing they want to do is get the coroner on the scene so that they can take a liver temp to find out a, the closest approximate time of their unaliving, right? Okay. The, the liver temp should be took as quickly as possible after a person has passed so that they can get an accurate or at least as close to accurate as they can as the time of death now okay if you worked in a restaurant and i'm just saying this because these are my thoughts okay if you worked in a restaurant you are required by law to bring a piece of meat up to a certain temperature and hold it there so that you know that all the bacteria and anything that's in that piece of meat will not harm the person eating it well if you cook that till it gets hot and then you set it off the stove and you wait five hours five hours after it's already been cooked and it's cold room temperature and you stick a thermometer in there how are you going to be able to tell if that meat was ever brought up to the correct temperature you're not so tell me why it took the coroner and this was out of her own mouth i watched her interview it took the coroner the those kids in idaho the, the idaho four were found approximately around 10 11 o'clock that coroner did not get on the scene until 5 o'clock that evening. She says it's because she wanted to wait until the police were done with their investigation. But those bodies have been laying there approximately 6 hours. The room temperature. How is she going to get an approximate liver temp to find out the closest she can to when those people, what happened to them happened? If she waits six hours after they were already found, this is not from the time it happened, but after they were found, which had already been five or six hours, how is she supposed to get an accurate liver temp on that? Tell me that, people. I, I get agitated. I get passionate. I apologize. The same with uh, the, the video I did the other day on the infants out of Boston. Now, let me answer me this, please, if you can. You have a call that you have to go in and investigate an apartment. 
they go in, they find one set of remains of an infant. They keep looking. They find another set in a freezer. Now, I don't know about how police do things, but as a civilian, just having a little bit of common sense here, if I found two and I haven't finished searching that apartment, I'm not going to call it a day and go home and say, we'll finish up tomorrow. But from my understanding, that's exactly what they did. They found two sets of remains and called it a day and went back the next day. And guess what? Finished the search and found two more sets of remains. What is up with these police departments? How can this stuff continue to happen? Uh, what kind of people are we hiring in on law enforcement that this kind of stuff would continue to happen, people? Tell me that. Yeah, it may have turned into a bitch fest, and I do apologize. But it, these are questions I really want to know. How can these so-called professionals keep this stuff continue to happen? Just keep happening and keep happening. If you're a professional in any of these fields or you hear you're in any of these towns and you know exactly what's going on, let me know because I would love to know what is going on. I'll see you on the next video.